What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range on what should be a fantastic day to get some jelly testing done. And first up on the agenda is hopefully an interesting 45 ACP test. So as you can see, the jelly contraption is clocked in, ready for duty. I got my chrono. I got two blocks of gel here. Now this block we're using for this test has had a couple of tests already done in it. It's got two, uh, it's got four tracks, two different tests. I'll leave some links up above if y'all hadn't seen that, but I should have plenty of room to get these two shots in here and give y'all plenty of views so y'all can see what's going on. Now, what we're dealing with here today is some Nosler ammo. And like I say, it's in 45 ACP. This is their Nosler ASP, Assured Stopping Power. Suppressor ready, 230 grain jacketed hollow point. So this stuff is sure enough moving pretty slow. 850 feet per second is what they say on the box. So y'all know it's probably gonna be a little bit less than that. Um, these things are supposed to be skived bullet jackets engineered for reliable expansion at subsonic velocity, controlled expansion and penetration for effective of transfer so gonna be interesting these are you know it sounds like they built these to expand and perform well at slow speed so we'll see uh just looking at the projectile here it does look pretty nice it looks like it's cut pretty deep even into the lead so hopefully we get some good performance out of this thing now the tools we're working with today is going to give it plenty of opportunity to do its thing we got the taurus 1911 commander here this has got a four and a quarter inch barrel in it and then stepping it up to a little bit longer we got the rock island armory 1911 with the five inch barrel so hopefully these things perform as well as they described them on the box let me get all this stuff set up and let's check them out all right y'all let's see just how slow these big old pills are moving i'm gonna do a five round average from each barrel length over the chrono to see what kind of speeds we get i'm gonna start out with the four and a quarter inch taurus commander first we got 804 816 784 827 and 824 so pretty consistent all but that one that was in the 700s let's check that average out all right so that five round average out of that four and a quarter inch taurus commander is 811 feet per second so not terribly far off from what they claimed on the box especially being a four and a quarter inch barrel so let me get this reset and let's check out the rock island all right, y'all, let's see what this five inch barrel can do for us. We're gonna do a five round average with this one also. Eight forty. Eight fifteen. Eight sixty four. Eight forty three. And 875, so this five inch barrel definitely sped it up. Let's check that average out. All right, so the five round average out of this five inch barrel Rock Island is 859 feet per second. That's actually nine over what the box is claiming. Now, granted, I feel like this group was kind of all over the place on velocity. Uh, I'll have to look back when I'm editing and verify that. But either way, the five round average on this was 859. And if you remember out the Taurus, it was 811. So you're talking about only 48 feet per second faster with this rock island so that's what around five percent somewhere around in there so not a whole lot of difference should be interesting to see what these do in the jail let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's slow poke jelly time i'm gonna put one round out of each barrel length into the jail we're gonna start with the four and a quarter inch taurus commander first um this one's gonna be a little tricky i'm gonna try to put this high if it goes out the top we'll just have to take us another one All right, I think, uh, I think that might have came out the side. Let me go check it out and make sure, though. All right, y'all, that thing actually landed exactly where I wanted it to, and it stayed in. I just saw the reflection from the inside out the side. It's plenty inside the block. So let's take this Rock Island now. I'm going to try to put this down low, but it's playing with fire when I try to go low. But we'll see what happens, y'all. Hopefully, we'll get a good shot. I think, believe it or not, that went exactly where I wanted. Let me make sure it didn't go down into the board. All 
All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. So first thing I'll say is I'm actually surprised at the performance out of these things. Um, I didn't expect much expansion at all out of them. I, I expected the penetration to be short just because of the speeds they were moving, but they definitely designed these things to perform at slower speeds because I think both of these did excellent. So first one up on the very top here, that's the four and a quarter inch Taurus Commander. As you can see, came in nice wound channel, nice amount of disruption there, keeps on causing disruption all the way through the channel really and carries on down here now it went into the second block about an inch and a half maybe two inches and rebounded back here and it's facing backwards so i'm not sure sure where it tumbled if it tumbled in somewhere in its travel or if that rebound caused the tumble i'm not actually sure so um, either way it's sitting down here like i say turned around backwards and some pretty nice expansion out of it and then we got the one on the very bottom here that's out of the five inch rock island again comes in very nice wound channel nice disruption again carries throughout the channel uh the round looks like it looks like it stopped right at the 16 inch mark right at the edge of that first block rebounded a little bit and this one here is actually sitting sideways so it didn't do a complete 180 but it's sitting there at 90 degrees and again looks like it got some really really nice expansion but let's measure this penetration and see what we got so out of the taurus four and a quarter inch barrel we're at exactly 18 inches of forward momentum on that thing and then like i say rebounded back but i mean right on the dot at 18 inches out of that four and a quarter and then from the five inch like i said it's right at the edge of this first 16 inch block i would say 15 and seven eighths we got out of that five inch rock island so excellent penetration on both of them i wanted to give you just a quick little look here before i pull the projectiles as you can see that one right there that's the one out of the taurus commander really nice wound action there travels all the way down into the second block and then as you can see it's turned around backwards and then again the one at the bottom that's the five inch rock island very very nice wound channel disruption going on there and that one again right at the edge of that first block and you can see there pretty nice expansion from what i can see so far all right, y'all, let's check out these projectiles. So right here on the right, this is out of the four and a quarter inch Taurus Commander. This one on the left is out of the Rock Island, the five inch. So as you can see, they look very, very similar as far as the expansion. I think this Taurus might be a little less than the Rock Island. It's really, really hard to tell. They look almost identical, but either way, both of them, as you can see, some nice expansion on them. Looks like they stayed together. Now, where it looks like the points are broken on the pedals, that's actually not broken that's just the way that bullet is skived like that to make it expand and they did a good job i have to give it to them for those slow speeds these things expanded and penetrated pretty well if you ask me but let's do some measurements on them and see what we're looking at there now as far as the weight they both started at 230 so the one out of rock island we're looking at 230.1 so no loss at all the one out of taurus we're looking at 230.4 so absolutely no loss out of either one of those now as far as the expansion on them we'll start out here with the four and a quarter first we got 594 597 and 596 so some pretty nice consistent expansion out of that one now the one out of the five inch rock island we got 615, 626, and 620. So definitely more expansion on that one. Not a whole lot, but it is more expansion out of that five inch. So there you have it, y'all. The Nosler ASP and 45 ACP. Like I already said, I'm pretty surprised actually at how good a performance I got out of these things. I wasn't expecting anything like that. I don't know why, but these things actually performed pretty well in my opinion. They got very nice uh, penetration out of them. Expansion is plenty any expansion right there they carried all of their mass all the way through the wound so in my opinion i would definitely not hesitate to load these things up all right, y'all, that does it for another 45 ACP test, and these did surprisingly well. I always love it when this ammo performs well out here. That just gives you one more option to load up with. Like I said, as far as this Nosler ASP ammo goes, I would not hesitate to use this. And as a matter of fact, as soon as I get back by my local shop, I'm going to pick up another box or two of it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the performance from these rounds. I know one or two of y'all out there do carry these because I've had people ask me about testing them. If you did enjoy the video, reach down and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. 
subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description. If you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first and anything you buy after going through that link, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. If you're in the market for some fantastic ear pro, check out those Axel affiliate links down below. You can save a bunch of money going through those links instead of straight through their site. As always, I appreciate all my Range Gang members for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching my videos, hitting that thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button, and leave me those comments down below. Like I said, let me know what you think about these Nosler ass browns. I got quite a few more things planned for out here today, so y'all stay tuned for a lot of good stuff. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.